I mean, I think it, it's very clear. Clarence Thomas and rather his wife, Ginny, participated in the events of January 6th. And now what is likely go going before the Supreme Court is a judgment as to whether an event that his wife participated in, that his wife has been investigated by in the January 6th committee in, qualifies as an insurrection. And Clarence Thomas's decision on that one way or another, and overall the court's decision on that, would directly implicate his wife. And so this is just one of the most classic textbook conflicts of interest, uh, and it would frankly be a scandal if he did not recuse himself. Do you himself. think he actually will? I mean, he, he did recuse himself in a, the case regarding John Eastman, mm -hmm. for never really explaining exactly why he recused yes, himself. Yes, and his wife, you know, one of the one of the documents that Donald Trump actually tried to prevent from, from coming to the January 6th committee were documents that showed Ginny Thomas in communication with John Eastman. And so, you know, there is a precedent there. Clar Clarence Thomas, as you mentioned, did not really elaborate as to why he recused himself, but he recused himself with in a case with respect to John Eastman. His wife had actively been involved in communication with him, pressing uh, John Eastman, pressing Mark Meadows, Donald Trump's chief of staff at the time, and also continues to maintain that the 2020 election was stolen despite a complete lack of evidence thereof. And so, you know, I think um, our hope is that Clarence Thomas has shown that he is willing to recuse himself from a case. This is one of the most direct implications uh, that he has with respect to, you know, perhaps one of one of any of the cases that's come before the court. Do you worry that he might not just because you have written this letter? I mean, just you have called for his impeachment before. I mean, you have you have been very tough on, on Clarence Thomas. Well, we have called for um, for him to recuse himself in all cases related to. January 6th. He has in the past. And frankly, this this truly is not even about partisan point scoring. This is about the this is about the integrity of the court and to not recuse uh, oneself from from a case where one is so where justice is so deeply involved would have larger ramifications, not just for Clarence Thomas, but for the Supreme Court. Do overall. you think it, or do you worry at all that sets a, a bad precedent if a justice has to recuse himself based on something his wife is alleged to have been involved with? I think with? that if, if a justice's spouse would be directly implicated by a ruling from the Supreme Court, that's well within the standard professional bounds of a conflict of interest. Um, and I, I don't think that it's a troubling precedent to set. In fact, I think the, the precedent has been set that if something so personal would affect a justice, that they would recuse themselves from a ruling. Do you believe the former president is going to be put on trial in any of these trials before the election? Do you, do you believe that there will be some opportunity for him to be judged by a jury of his peers? You know, I think um, that's really up to the courts and, and to the court system. As we know, he has a lot of different legal matters up in the courts, some of those um, potentially criminal or a, a, a particularly with his colleagues as well. Others are civil. We are going to have to see how the courts really, you know, make their, their way through yeah. all of this. But this is the most pressing question that we have. And especially when it comes to this argument of complete and total uh, immunity. immunity. Can you see? Can you foresee a circumstance in which the Supreme Court would say that the president is immune? If the Supreme Court does come to that conclusion, it would have profound and destabilizing impacts on the presidency and for the country. Not just for this former president, but for history. But for all all presidents to come, you know, and and to say that any president, as soon as you are elected, that you can commit any crime whatsoever related to anything personal or, 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 you know, related to whether it's interpersonal or larger, whether it's fraud, whether it's violence, whether it, whatever it may be to say that no matter what happens, you cannot be held accountable in a court of law is an extremely, extremely destabilizing uh, position and finding uh, for, for the entire country that would have deeply, deeply damaging ramifications. The move by 